Hello and welcome to the first of this tutorial series on using Astro Pixel Processor. This is a very powerful program that is popular with Astro Images because whilst it is incredibly powerful and offers a lot of custom settings, it can be used in a fully automatic mode which streamlines the whole procedure of calibrating, aligning and stacking multiple sub-exposures. It's certainly a program that should appeal to both newcomers and seasoned Astro Images. APP is available in two versions and either of these represent good value for money. The first option is to buy the program outright via an owner's license and at the time of recording this video in October 2022 the cost of this is 198 euros which equates to 174 UK pounds or 194 US dollars. The owner's license incurs no other fees and entitles the owner to download newer versions when released which will include updates and bug fixes. Full support is available using either the APP Users Forum or from the software creator. In the case of significant major upgrades, the owner may be requested to pay a fee for the upgraded version. Alternatively, you can purchase a renter's license. If you go down this route, which I have done, you can use APP for a period of 365 days and at that point you will have to purchase either of the licenses again to continue using the program. This option allows access to newer versions of APP, bug fixes, technical support as well as access to major program upgrades. A renter's license costs 60 euros 53 UK pounds or 58 US dollars. Both versions allow the installation of APP on up to three computers. Before purchase, it's possible to download a trial version of the software for a period of 30 days. It'll also run quite happily on Windows, Mac OS and Linux 64-bit operating systems. I found the renewal process after one year to be simple and quick an installation of a second copy of APP on a remote computer was flawless. Upon starting the program there will be a quick license check and then the main user interface will appear. This looks complicated at first but is laid out logically and becomes familiar very quickly. Let's go through the interface and learn about some of the tools. In the centre of the screen is where we'll view our images. At top left you'll find a series of buttons. Clicking on license opens an information page where you'll be presented with license information and expiry date. Also visible will be information regarding any of the up to three instances of APP installed on other computers. From here it's possible to deactivate these if required when installing APP on a new computer. The CFG button opens a page with several options. One thing you can do here is to choose an alert sound which plays upon completion of a processing run. The default setting is gong, so be prepared for a church bell to peal from your speakers upon completion if you use this. Alongside is a figure in green that reports on the available hard disk space of your chosen working directory. APP will use a lot of disk space while processing multiple images, so ensure you have enough disk space available. The Open GL4 button gives options to use graphics card acceleration, or if not available, APP will automatically switch to CPU rendering. Most modern PCs should support GL4 acceleration. Below that is a sliding bar that allows a choice of the number of CPU threads or CPU core processors to be used. For my PC, the default setting was 7, but I changed that to 8. Just below this are four fuel gauge type displays showing RAM usage and operating system details. The button below is where you choose your working directory. APP will use this to locate sub-exposures and to save the results of all processing steps, as well as calibration frames. The next section contains eight buttons. We'll look at these in more detail in later videos, but it's here where you load images, set calibration, image assessment, registration, normalize and integrate, or stack images. The Tools button contains some great features which I'll cover in separate videos. Note also that if you hover the cursor over buttons on the screen, you'll be presented with some very helpful tooltips and hints for those specific features. 
The three options below can be left on the default setting and are used for multiple session processing, which I personally don't use, so I normally untick the multi-session processing button. A major feature of APP is this collection of buttons. It's from here that we load our light frames, our calibration frames, flats, darks, bias, etc., or master calibration frames. A sorting drop list allows a choice of ordering of the images according to time shot, star shape, or quality, etc. Across the bottom of the screen is where the files are loaded from the working directory. When we proceed with calibration, image assessment and stacking in later videos, we'll see some very useful information that will populate these other fields, which are blank at the moment. Clicking on one of the sub exposures opens the image in the viewing pane. You can examine the contents of the image's fits header by pulling on this sliding bar. We'll move that back for now. You can click on the image to move it around the viewing pane and use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Note also that APP has applied an auto stretch to the image, which is very helpful. The right hand side of the screen is where images are scaled and color manipulated. I'll cover this section in more detail in later videos, but for now, if you wish to turn off the auto scale feature, click on the scaling drop list and select no stretch. Other options found here allow different scaling strengths to be used. Finally, at top centre is a useful drop list which allows viewing the specific stages of calibration, registration, normalisation and a star map feature that displays useful information about the sub exposure regarding image quality such as full width half maximum values and an overall quality score. This concludes our look at APP's user interface. In the next video, we'll start an exploration of APP's calibration and stacking capabilities.